2021 has seen a wave of people's struggles wash through Latin America. Many of these movements were closely linked to electoral processes and in some cases they triumphed at the ballot boxes. Other struggles were against repression, authoritarianism and imperialism. Of particular significance were the mass movements and protests that swept through Haiti and Colombia. In both these cases, people's movements were at the forefront of highlighting the long pending grievances of people. Colombia is set to see an important election in 2022. Another country that will see a similar process is Brazil. Zoe Alexandra analyzes these protests and movements and their impact. Um at the same time there were also two very important process of struggles that I'll mention. Uh one would be in Haiti um against the illegal extension of the term of Jovenel Moïse. Uh so the Haitian people have been on the streets the past several years. mobilizing against corruption mobilizing against uh militarization mobilizing against the government's alliance with many of the armed gangs in the in the country um and specifically what brought them onto the streets in 2018 was the corruption scheme with the funds from Petro Caribe from this regional cooperation with Venezuela and so they continued their mobilizations against the government into this year because Jovenel Moïse attempted to um in constitutionally extend his term in office so there were massive mobilizations especially on February 7th when his term was set to expire um these mobilizations continued especially on constitution day um and uh people continued to be on the streets and then in July um Jovenel Moïse was assassinated this case is still under investigation but it was carried out um by a group of over 20 Colombian mercenaries it's unclear to this day who exactly ordered this assassination it is of course not something that the people's movements wanted nor is a demand nor did they want um this uh to happen um the country has struggled to emerge from this crisis there have been a series of natural disasters as well an earthquake this summer as well following the death of Jovenel Moïse um and so Haiti continues to be a hot spot in terms of people's mobilizations people's movements demanding that um imperial forces respect the will of the Haitian people and that they're able to create the proper uh process of transition to democracy. Um and so this will continue to be in a a a primary concern for people's movements in the region supporting the democratic transition in Haiti, supporting the strengthening of people's movements in order to um further this establishment of true democracy in the country where there's no corruption, where the US doesn't get to dictate what happens in the country and where the people can live freely have access to education have access to healthcare and so many other things that they denied um the other very key process that happened in this last year was the national strike in colombia which took place for about 3 months uh beginning on april 28th against a proposed tax reform bill uh these massive protests were met with severe repression from the armed forces from the police in colombia um during the three months of strike over 80 people protesters were killed um both by police and also by paramilitary forces this was a a turning point in colombia because it brought the the pressing issue of militarization of paramilitary violence um to the cities and no longer remained a question that only people in the country said have to deal with and this really galvanized the country it gained international headlines um people were talking about the violence in colombia talking about the problems that they face in the country and next year is an electoral year um there is an alliance being built among progressive movements the historic pact being led by gustavo petro and so many are wondering whether this uh alliance whether the mo- momentum from the streets will c- come translate into an electoral victory of this uh progressive alliance this remains to be seen but either way um it will be an important process to watch out for and then the final process is taking place next year as well as the uh general elections in Brazil uh this could potentially bring an end to 4 years of Jair Bolsonaro who uh according to social movements is a fascist um criminal who has you know overseen uh the unnecessary death of over 600,000 Brazilians due to COVID-19 and his irresponsibility in handling the pandemic he is under investigation by his own parliament um and has been you know cases against him have uh, have been brought to the Hague the International Criminal Court 
Um, and so this will be very crucial in terms of recovering stability in Brazil, um, recovering dignity to the people, ending these four uh, years of Bolsonaro government. And this will be taking place at the end of next year as well. So it's in a very, it was a very important year, this 2021, in terms of uh, the masses of people, whether it be on the streets, whether it be at the polls, rejecting uh, the model of neoliberalism, rejecting this model of exclusion, rejecting the conservative um, grip that uh, the U.S. has uh, helped support on the, the region, you know, countries like, for countries like Honduras to, uh, you know, end 12 years of national party rule that was, you know, imposed through a violent military coup, through continued assassinations and repression of social movement activists is very important. Um, similarly, in Colombia, to see so many thousands of people on the street uh, Will it translate into electoral victory? That's remained to be seen, but um, the tide is shifting on in the region. Uh, people are no longer um, accepting the status quo of exclusion, of misery, of poverty. And um, it was definitely a year that saw a shift in the correlation of forces on the continent, a shift in favor of these progressive alliances, alliances in favor of Latin America. And so this is what we're looking at for the next year. This is what we're seeing in the last year, and we will always be following it from People's Dispatch.